back on my ex and make sure she ain't doing Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. It's your boy T Money with another, another lit live reaction, man. Re right, right now we're gonna react to, you know what I'm saying? This the war on uh, in the Bronx, the OGs versus the YGs versus Sev Size, man. It's been going crazy. I, you know, I haven't really been hit to it. You know me being older. You know the the Bronx. Drill shit is more on the, I feel like it's more the young boys, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's y'all generation. So, I haven't been too hip to, onto it. I know a couple of the, uh, you know, the Bronx rappers, you know, you got, um, who, you got, uh, uh, K, uh, K Flock, you know what I'm saying? You got, uh, M. Dot, all these doors. I don't, I know a couple of the names, but I don't really listen to music. I ain't gonna hold you like that. Try and get more hit, but like we gonna do a reaction to all the, you know, what I'm saying the war in the Bronx. The What's Bronx going on? is a wild place. It's the borough with the most crime and is well known for gang activity. The Bronx drill sound is on the rise and is fueling the deadly war between three gangs: the OGs, the YGs, and Sevside. Let's get straight into this crazy beef. Brooklyn was getting attention for its drill scene. But the Bronx is coming with a whole new sound that's starting to make waves. That's crazy. So out of all the boroughs, they trying to say uh, the Bronx is, is the most, the craziest, the most get active, get, you know what I'm saying, get with it borough out there. I thought it was Brooklyn. You know what I mean? I thought it was big up to Brooklyn. So I now it's the Bronx going crazy out there. Sheesh. K Flock is one of the hottest rappers from the Bronx right go. now, racking up millions of plays on songs like Being Honest and PSA. Bronx drill may have the same bass lines and hard flow as Brooklyn and UK drill, but it has its own unique sound that's influenced by classic. Yo, uh, chat, leave in the chat. Which one do you think goes harder? Is the, you know, the, we're going to get three options old school, you know, Chirac drill uh uk drill or new york bronx slash brooklyn and all the the new york drill which one y'all think go harder out of all of them leave in the chat in your opinion classic new york hip-hop most of the beats have classic samples laced in with distorted 808s that gives the music a different vibe than drill from other areas k flock has been riding away with his new sound and has been building a buzz over the past few months but his come up ain't just been all success he also suffers from the pain and loss that comes with the street life, losing many friends to gun violence. K Flock hopped off the curb at a young age and was on the block at like 12 years old. He started rapping because of his homie Dougie B, who was also a rapper. Man, that's how they hop out, hopped out there. 12 years old, man. Hopping out the porch, you know, at 12 out here. Per and it's been featured on multiple Dougie tracks. Dougie right there. Hey Flock's first official track was a remix of the 22G song, Blicky Gang Freestyle, which he titled FTO. 22G's then gave K Flock a shout out in a recent interview, showing love to the Bronx drill movement. In August 2021, he remixed Siggy Black's song, Dishonest, and called it Being Honest. That track quickly racked up millions of views and earned him a feature from G Herbo. There's also Herbo rumors that he him. recently signed a seven-figure deal, and he's in a good position to take over the Bronx rap I'm scene. Through the racks. But behind Th all of K-Flock's success through the racks. is a deadly war that involves his own family members. He's from a blood set around East 187th Street in a hood known as Sevside. Sevside is made up of Mac Baller Brims and Sex Money Murder, and they cool with the rolling 80s Crips. Sevside beats with other See, gangs in the area, I, I, that's including what I don't the OG. Know, like out in New York, it's like the Crips sets and the blood sets be all banging together that should be it be that should be wild yo these or original goons and the ygs or young gunners at first these two was the same gang and controlled a few different projects around Cortland Ave, not far from sev side but one of the founders of the ygs crossed over another top member so the dudes in his hood split off to form the ogs today the ygs are one of the most hated gangs in the bronx and they beef with almost everyone one of the ygs main rappers named d thing is k flock's blood baby. cousin the two rappers have been dissing each other back and forth. D thing shocked the whole hood. That's crazy how so K Flock D thing, they cousins and, and, and they ops. Y'all cousins and y'all ops at the same time. That's some wild shit, yo. Only in the Bronx, I guess. Huh? Only in the Bronx. But for real, I, hey, I guess that's everywhere, man. You got your own family members with do you dirty out, you know what I'm saying? Like that's wild. 
by dropping a Chicago style drill track called Talking Facts, where he disrespects dead ops from damn near every gang the YG's beef with. But the beef ain't start with rap. It began with most of the murders. That's not right there. Yo, look at my man's dance right there, yo. That's crazy. Facts, where he disrespects dead ops from damn near every gang the YG's beef with. But the beef ain't start with rap. It began with multiple murders, followed by threats and music and on social media. In July 2021, a 19-year-old rapper who went by the name Ty Swish was shot in the head in the lobby of his apartment building. He ran outside after getting shot. Nobody out here, man. RP man to everybody on everybody you know we ain't just nobody out here we ain't on that type of timing you know and we ain't in that Bronx drill you know smoking everybody's options shit man RP to everybody on all sides for real y'all need to stop that that dumb foolishness in the eye and quickly collapsed a family friend and her two kids found him unconscious outside the building he was rushed to the hospital but he was dead at the scene Witnesses say the gunman fled in a dark-colored four-door sedan, but was never identified. Friends and neighbors said Ty Swish was a good kid who never got in trouble, but he was allegedly for sex money murder, and they would quickly even the score for his death. A few days later, 13-year-old Jerry and Elliot was chased down and killed outside the Angels Cafe in the Belmont That's neighborhood crazy. of the Bronx. Jerry had just graduated from junior high and was turning 14 That's later thing, that man, you know. It's a lesson for them for y'all kids out here, you know. Y'all young young people out there, they jumping off the perch early and, and you can get left in the street early. So, you know, take take all this as what it is. You know, we never would condone any of that on, you know, team money's platform. You know, we we we, we showing y'all the 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 dirty side of, of it all for real, you know. That month. But even though he was young, he already claimed to be from the rolling 80s Crips. He had already got arrested eight times for robbery and assault and spent time in juvie. A friend of Jerry's said the Crips put him on when he was 10 years old and that she tried to warn him about the lifestyle, but he ain't listened. The murder was captured on surveillance footage and showed Jerry walking down the street with a friend. A black sedan is seen driving up alongside him, then coming to a stop. A mad shooter then hops out and shoots at both of them. His friend ran away, but Jerry falls and then crawls into a local cafe. Mm. He got shot in the legs and the chest and was rushed to the hospital, but later pronounced dead. Police think Jerry's death was payback for killing Ty Swish. They don't know if he was the killer, sad. but they crazy. believe he was there at the time of the murder. Just a few hours after Jerry got chips, the ops got their revenge and a 16 year old got killed, and police think it was a payback hit. On Sunday, July 11th, a 16 year old rapper named Rod G's was shot while getting into an Uber. Rod G's was from the 800 YG's and the shooting is believed to be retaliation for the murder of Jerry and Elliot. Rod G supposedly made fun of Jerry's death on social media right after it happened, and the get back was immediate. He was on his way to the studio when two men on scooters pulled up and started dumping shots into his Uber. The Dumping whole thing was captured on the driver's scooter, dash cam yo. and quickly went viral on social media. The That's rapper got crazy. shot once before, but survived. His mom said he was trying to turn his life around and was focusing on his music career, that, but he didn't get that wild. chance and instead became another casualty in this deadly war. But the case is still active and they both minors, so there ain't too much public info available. With so many deaths on all sides, the beef between the YGs, OGs, and Sev side was really heating up. On August 16th, K Flock dropped the track Is You Ready, where he disses multiple rival rappers, including his own cousin, D Thang. In the first verse, he says, Boy, ask my ops, it could get ugly. I could do shh, like Ice did Sunny. Mm. This is referring to the classic film Paid in Full. In the movie, Mitch, one of the main characters played by Makai Pfeiffer, has own, a younger brother who gets kidnapped for ransom. Mitch tries to get the money, but he gets killed by Rico, played by Cameron, who steals the drugs to pay Sonny's ransom. Sonny gets killed as a result, and come to find out, he was set up by his own uncle, Ice, who was mad at Mitch for kicking him out of the house. So in this bar, K Flock sends a shot directly to his own cousin, D Thang, and lets him know he's not above setting him up. The song was big in New York and even got played on Hot 97. So, you can probably guess how the ops felt about this. Mm. D Thang quickly hopped on social media and gave his thoughts on the bar, saying, Can't wait to see Auntie now. A Damn. few weeks later, another rolling 80s member who was affiliated with K Flock got murdered broad day. The victim was 16 year old rapper Nas Rolla. He was killed after two men hopped out of a Honda Accord and popped him in this the head sad, and chest yo. in Seb Side's hood. Police said that Nas Rolla had a long criminal history and got arrested 18 times already, including 10 felonies dating back to May 2017. 
He was recently arrested for gun possession and was fighting three other open gun cases. After his death, D Thing would hop on Instagram and sneak this Nas Rolla, who was his cousin K Flock's right hand man, suggesting he might have got set up. Right around the same time Nas Rolla was killed, D Thing dropped Talk Facts, which is pretty much the Bronx version of Who I Smoke, where he disses all his ops, both alive and dead. On the track, he samples the song Somebody That I Used to Know by Got Ye and throws a sub at a different op in almost every bar. Some disses include Dougie got shot, but he's still in recovery. Sending shots at K-Flock's homie, Dougie B. Mm. He also says, come on, CJ, you see me when I ain't see you. F you ain't even make a move. So how the f when you see me, you gon' shoot. In this bar, he takes shots at another rival rapper from Cortland who dissed D-Thing on the track Kidnap Who after D-Thing said he was gonna kidnap Booba Savage, who was also featured on the track. Later, he raps, Jiggy Man, AKA Shot Eck, dumbass got hit. That's word on my mother, they never do shit. Here, he's talking about a rapper named Shot Eck, who's from the OGs and known to go by the name Jiggy Man. So, it looks like Bronx Drill is following the same pattern as Chicago and the UK. Rappers diss each other in songs then follow it up with real violence. What's really crazy is that a lot of them are under 18 and still in high school. So really, they don't fully understand the consequences that come with the lifestyle they live in. Hopefully, they're paying attention to how hot it's getting in O Block and they cool it down before it's too late. But with so many lives lost on both sides, it's hard to see an end in sight. Be good kids, man. Y'all need to jump out there. Y'all need to do all that stupid stuff. You seeing all these young boys is out here dying for real. You know what I mean? Like, hold your head up. Be a king. Who y'all is for real. Who y'all meant to be, man. We leave it like that, man. It's T-Money Makes Bucks. And we out one.